It is an occasion to be savoured, no matter your persuasion, whether you're Rossoneri or Nerazzurri, Milan against Inter always stands out. Live on EA TV. All roads today lead to the San Siro here in Milan. It's the Derby della Madonnina, Milan against Inter. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always on these special occasions, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing in this one? Well, Derek, I have to say, this is always a game I look forward to, particularly the styles of play. Milan against Inter, this is a wonderful arena. Let's hope it's an entertaining game as well. He's in with a chance. A goal! Inter take the lead in the derby! And how much does it mean to them? Just listen! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. has restarted 1-0 here Giroud Benassa this is Loftus-Cheek chance for the leveller oh a smart stop about the short corner really fine piece of defending play to break us up Matteo Damian can he make a count oh blocked it Loftus cheek Calabria now Giroud Teo Hernandez Hernandez Real really good build up but no end product might it be Olivier Giroud and he's missed it good heavens well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Barella. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Henrik Mkhitaryan and he's lost out here Mkhitaryan Loftus cheek now Giroud he read the situation defensively and did his job and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, tremendous vision. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Leading it through. And a goal! To increase their advantage, it's a two-goal lead.
Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So 2-0 now. Went in strongly to win the ball. Martinez. Not to like about that pass. Real chance. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Olivier Giroud, the referee correctly decided to play advantage. Could pull one back here, and he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline, the belief is back. Well, here's the replay, watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy, nothing the keeper can do about that. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Alessandro Bastoni. It's with Chalanolu. Chalanolu. Mkhitaryan. On to Turam. Will he find the net? And he'll be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Vanessa. Loftus cheek. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Pivotal moment defensively. looking pass and the keeper's in trouble oh we have just witnessed a special moment pure quality well here it is again and it's all about the pace and transition they're so quick to get out from the back and the finish showed great composure just to lift it over the goalkeeper that's a lovely goal Underway again with the score at 3 1. Jihou. Leal. Given away by Milan. Crucial interception amid impending danger. This looks more than decent. Can he put it away? And by a wafer-thin margin, offside. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Given away by Pulisic. Giroud on the move here. 
And there it is. The referee brings the first half to an end. And positive signs for Inter based on the scoreline. They hold the advantage at the interval. Well, before the game, we talked about their defensive record. But it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today. They've been so sharp, plenty of movement. And if the first half is anything to go by, I can see there being more goals in the second half. So the ball is moving again, and it was a delightful performance from Inter in the first half of this match. Alessandro Bastoni. Inter in a position of menace. But they dealt with the threat posed. Chalanoru. Could be. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So on with the game here. Inter well on top. In fact, this is turning into something of a trouncing. Tomori. Polisic. Well, now it's with Ruben Loftus cheek. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Loftus cheek. Polisic. Can he open the door to a potential goal? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Now sending it in. High class defending right on the goal line. Loftus cheek. He's got to score. Oh, good save. And the referee says penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. So, a personnel change then. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, here's the replay, and the goalkeeper chooses the right way, but he's a bit unlucky because the strike goes above his body. It's a good penalty, it's the height that beats him on this occasion. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Francesco Acerbi. And into the last 30 minutes now. Barella. Francesco Acerbi. Alessandro Bastoni and now De Frey Francesco Acerbi good work from Milan to make sure possession changed hands moving forward effectively the danger not over Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible...
possible is becoming quite possible. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Well, they get the ball rolling, and Milan are believing against. Francesco Acerbi on the ball, Bastoni. De Frey. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Turam. Happy to shoot. And the keeper there to deal with it. And the substitution will occur now. Keen to take it short here. Well shown inside. Oh, it's an own goal! A moment he would love to be able to forget. Well, here it is again, and it's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. the scoreline we see all that often 5-3 Giroud Benassa good use of advantage by the referee Leal oh he's given it the referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. Substitution time it is here. And this to reduce the deficit. Ball is loose! Well, nothing untoward happened. Barella. This could be troublesome. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Francesco Acerbi. Barella has it. Dumfries. Is this the moment? clearing their lines and so it will be a corner now <laughs> who's going to get on the end of it appear to be in two minds Dumfries Opportunity to deliver the cross. Chalanolu. Determined defending. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, this is it going to be safe, but still a chance. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Intense pressure. Pavard. Jan Zoma. Francesco Acerbi. Resting like that will help the cause. Oh, this is looking promising. 
really digging in at the back but still the opportunity well not so fast the referee says penalty and maybe a late glimmer of hope for them and into the book he goes too well once he gave the penalty he was always going to give him a yellow card Can they get one back? And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Francesco Acerbi. And that will do it. The referee's whistle means it is officially final. Inter get the victory and the three points. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, they didn't defend as well as they can, but the forward play was excellent today. In particular, I thought the midfield combination of intricate passing and dynamic running was key to their success. They were certainly worthy winners.